Yo, what's happening guys? We're back again with a brand new YouTube video. Ramadan's over. It's been a crazy month. It's gone so quick as well. It's finished now. I've completed it 30 days yet again. When I was younger, it was a struggle. As I got older, it's getting easier and easier. So I'm um, gas is over. Now time for some real gains. Back on the program, back on the diet. I won't lie to you guys, the last two weeks of Ramadan has been very hard for me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know I mentioned it on my stories and I speak about it as well. I was just struggling, man, in terms of like getting my training in, getting my nutrition in, that like, I was just lacking. And there'll be times where I'm literally eating like just shitty food, like donuts, sweets, and whatnot. And when it came to training, sessions only probably lasted like 30 minutes at most, if that. Um, it was very bad, in it? But of course, we all have our bad days. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that probably think, oh, you know, Chris Bumps or your, your local sort of superhero don't have shitty days or shitty weeks or even months to be fair we all do man we're all human at the end of the day so you know we can't always be on our best some days we struggle like myself i struggled a lot two weeks on my done but now i'm back i'm ready yeah it's the second day of the month new month same goals i'm gonna get back in the gym power lifting again or power building to be fair um getting my squat bench deadlift up and just getting strong overall, but also making sure we're chasing those aesthetics. Let me get changed into my gym clothes, my work clothes, just finish work. I'm ready, man. And I'm gonna try my pre-workouts as well. So I've got a new flavor from ABE. It is, I think it's some candy flavor. I don't know, but I'll show you guys in a minute. Literally, my, my camera's on the pre-workout, so obviously I can't move it about and stuff. I'm gassed, I'm ready, I'm more excited as well. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm just, I'm ready, man. I can drink water, like, this is blessed, like, you know what I'm saying? It just feels weird as well, though, like, but today, from 6.30 up until now, which is, like, 1.30, um, I've literally drunk two, two and a bit litres of water, so... Here's another two litres as well. We're back, baby, we're back. Let's get changed. Three, two, one. Bang! We're ready. In a night What are we saying? Is it too bright? So the pre-workout today we're having is a bubblegum crush flavor from ABE. I ain't tried this flavor, so we're gonna give it a go. Uh, we ain't got a bottle. We've got this bottle, but we can't put it in here. It's too much, so we're gonna probably dry scoop it and then just down it with some water. And then it's a big chest and back session, so I'm excited. Benching today, back into our lifts. I feel, I'm fueled up. I've had, you know, two, three meals. I'm ready to rock and roll, man. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's get it. If you're ever gonna dry scoop it, have some water in your mouth. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Yep. Time to get to the gym. Let's go, baby. Florence. Tree time. That was actually pretty good. I you know I really enjoyed the session there. Uh, started my block again, so I'm following a six-week program, which is basically focusing on building my strength in all my compound lifts, so squat, bench, and deadlifts. And then I also, after I complete my compounds, as always, I go into accessory lifts or so dumbbells, machines, and try obviously build muscle and hypertrophy, just get explosive and get massive. Time to go home, shower, eat. I've missed this meal so much. I've not had it for a long time now. Um, I had it during. Ramadan as well occasionally, but it don't slap the same 
when you have it right after a gym session so it's good source of uh, protein good source of glycogen carbs just it's, it's overall it's a, i think personally it's one of the greatest meals to have it's quick it's good it tastes amazing so i'm gonna go home and show you guys that i'm gonna talk to you guys about my training split currently and how i'm gonna go about it moving forward my ultimate goal right now is to obviously try to get a bit bigger since i've lost a bit of mass looking much more fuller leaner and whatnot but i've also increased my calories to 3.2k so i'm on a lean bulk at the moment but i'm still you know incorporating some sort of cardio so we're doing two to three probably yeah two to three sessions a week in a gym on a stairmaster like 15 20 minutes to obviously keep myself nice and fit and obviously make sure that i'm putting on lean muscle not just fat also another thing i want to start running again so before i'm done i was running i've done it for like two weeks i maybe done like three or four runs within those two weeks uh, i want to get myself back into that sort of groove where i'm running and just not feeling sluggish because i feel like that's something that i want to definitely be doing way more now so the plan is two to three sessions in a gym of cardio you know low intensity and one to two times a week eventually doing some 5k runs maybe pushing 10 but nothing too crazy just want to you know push myself and try different things as well like summer's coming as well so sun's out you know it's great to go for a run so the pre-workout that i just took yeah it tastes amazing i won't lie obviously i did dry scoop it so you can't really taste it as well but it come when it comes to the actual feeling of pre-workout like i won't lie to you guys i don't know why but abe does not seem to be doing anything to me in terms of like getting me hyped or like you're itching and stuff and you're you know you just feel pumped as crazy but that pre-workout it was like a fat i would say it's more like a fat burner or like a pump product because i just sweating loads i wasn't really feeling energized and pumped but i guess maybe the, i haven't really sort of seen the ingredients uh of that so maybe it's meant to like just get you like sweating or just making you feel i don't know i don't know what it does to be fair but you know it did taste nice i'm not sponsored by them so if you guys want to try it out as well let me know how it goes for you guys but me personally i felt nothing and i did have a can of monster as well plus this so that's like literally 400 to 450 gram milligrams of uh caffeine today and i still felt like nothing so i don't know maybe i'm just so used to it even though i've not had caffeine for a while now over like a month and a bit but i don't know who knows I'm waffling right now. I'm hungry. I'm smelly. I need to get home, shower, show you guys what I'm eating, and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys when we get home. Peace. Mix it. bang and that is it so that's my ready break slash protein slash some honey slash blueberries slash raspberries my go-to meal after gym's post workout meal it's banging literally has all the nutrients you need but before we even have that i've got a parcel what is it what is it what is it this it's meal prep more prep boxes i'm taking this shit serious now and if you guys want to be serious about this and make serious gains like myself you need to invest in yourself and also always 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 invest in yourself i always tell everyone to do this if you want to be serious with your diet as well get more prep boxes like this this brand is called igloo i'm not sponsored on amazon but yeah time to eat this i'm starving and then i'm going to edit the video and then also edit some tiktok for you guys as well post it so if you're not following my tiktok account it'll be right here Strap Bikiri. All my socials are all the same on each platform, whether it be on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. Strap Bikiri. Follow me. When this video comes out, I should have posted something on my Instagram regarding the giveaway that I'm about to do. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 700 subscribers. It means a lot to me. I know it might not seem too much for you guys, but for me, it's a massive step. You know, I only started doing YouTube for like three, four months now. I started on like 100 subscribers or 150, wherever it was, and we've grown crazy. And obviously the next step is to hit 1K. That's when I do a bigger giveaway. 700 subscribers means 70 pound giveaway to one lucky winner. Whether you guys want supplements, gym clothing brand, or half and half, whatever you guys want. So keep supporting. I'll be doing more giveaways. I'm gonna try to be the, you know, the UK fitness Steve will do it. Cause I see so many guys out here and I ain't gonna call names cause obviously there's loads of you guys out there. But that are literally, you know, got millions of followers or even like, couple k's like i'm talking 50 to 100k or even mid three five hundred k's you guys have so many followers so many guys support you and you guys don't give back which i don't understand like it's crazy to me i think 
Like me, I've always, I want to keep this as a, a consistent thing. So once we hit 1K, I'll be doing a 100 pound giveaway. Um, but then even after that, I want to be give, giving away at least like 50 to 100 pound every single month. Because without your support, I wouldn't be making these videos. There's no point in me making these videos if there's no one watching it or supporting me. So you guys are definitely important. And I need you guys to keep subscribing, keep sharing. I will finish off the video that I had planned to post today. It was basically going to be a video about my sort of drip. AKA clothing, what I wear when I'm outside, you know, fashion, I'm into that heavy. So I do want to show you guys my wardrobe. You know, I can eat now, back to normal. The grind continues, the grind will never stop. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.